Okay, let's analyze the pronunciation of this paragraph in fast spoken English. So on the top, I'm going to show the normal text, and then on the bottom of each slide, I'll illustrate some of the pronunciation changes and adjustments that happen when we're speaking fast. Okay? So the first phrase is, what's the best way to study English if you're busy and you don't have a lot of time? You can see that we don't say what's. It sounds more like was. What's the best way? And the T at the end of best also kind of disappears. What's the best way to study English? You can see that the word to becomes ta, and it's just barely pronounced at the end of way. What's the best way to study English? Study English. Those two words kind of run together. The E from study and the I from English kind of combine. Study English. Okay? And the next phrase, if you're busy and you don't have a lot of time. You can see that the word your is pronounced like your in fast spoken English. The word busy is pronounced with an i sound. Busy. And the word and kind of becomes n. If you're busy and you don't have a lot of time. Busy and you don't. That's very common for the word and to get reduced to just an n sound. You don't becomes you don't, you don't, and have a lot of time. All of those little words, a lot of, run together into a lotta. So it sounds like this, have a lot of time. Let's move on. Well, remember that being consistent... I want to call your attention to the strong syllables in this phrase, which are put in bold and underlined. So it follows a little bit of a rhythm. Well, remember that being consistent. Let's try it fast. Well, remember that being consistent. That means working on your English. The letter O in working has more of an er sound. Working. Working on your English. Again, the word your becomes your. Frequently and regularly. Here we see another example of the word and becoming n in between two more important words. Frequently and regularly. Frequently has three syllables. Frequently. And regularly has four syllables. Regularly. That's quite a difficult word. Regularly is actually more important. Now here you can see that the words is and actually kind of blend together. And I illustrated the pronunciation of the word actually. We don't say actually or something like that. We say actually, is actually. Then we have more important. The word more kind of runs into the word important. And the last syllable of important kind of gets reduced. We don't say important. We say important, more important. Then try and spend. Again, you can see the word to just becomes a little uh sound at the end of trying. Try and spend. Hours and hours. Remember, the H in the word hours is silent, so don't pronounce it at all. Hours and hours. And the and becomes n. Studying. Most of us don't have long periods of free time. Okay, the words most of us kind of run together. Most of us. And at the end of the word don't, we don't really pronounce the T strongly. So don't say don't. Okay, it's more of a stop at the back of your throat. The sound cuts off very suddenly. Don't have. Don't have. Most of us don't have long periods of free time. The word of runs into the word free. Periods of free time. So don't wait until you can clear your schedule. Again, we have two more examples of a T sound at the end of a word sounding just like a sudden stop and not necessarily like T. Okay? Don't wait. Don't wait. When speaking fast, the first syllable of until is barely pronounced. Listen to it again. Don't wait until. Don't wait until. We almost continue the word wait right into the end sound. Don't wait until. You can clear your schedule. The word can sounds like can. You can clear. And again, the word 
your becomes your. You can clear your schedule. Instead, just make it your goal. The T at the end of the word just is barely pronounced. Just make it your goal. And you can see something funny happening with the words make it your. When we have a word ending in T, followed by the word you or your, it often sounds like a CH sound, ch. So make it your goal sounds like make it your goal. Make it your goal to spend. 15 minutes a day. Remember to pronounce the second syllable of 15 nice and strong. 15, not like 50, which is a different number. 15 minutes a day. You can see that the last two syllables of minutes become very small and just serve to connect with the word day. 15 minutes a day. Finishing one short activity. The word one starts with the W sound, okay? Some students pronounce it like on, but that's not correct. It's one. One short activity. And the words short and activity also kind of flow into each other. Short activity. You could read the news in English. Okay, the stressed syllables are read, news, and the first syllable of English, in. You could read the news in English while eating breakfast. The word while, when speaking fast, often becomes sort of like wall, while eating breakfast. And the first syllable of breakfast is pronounced with an e eh sound. It's not like the word break. It's like breck, breakfast. Or listen to an English podcast. The letter T is silent in the word listen, listen. Listen to an English podcast you can see that the words to and English all flow together to an English podcast while you're driving. Again, we have the word while becoming while and your becoming your while you're driving, while you're driving or exercising. Often when the word or is between two more important words, it sounds like er, driving or exercising. Or do a worksheet during your lunch break. The letter O in the word work and the letter U in the word during, they both have this er sound. Do a worksheet during your lunch break. Here's the last sentence. If you make these short study periods, the words if and you are fast. They are just leading up to the word make. If you make these short study periods, again, you can see that we don't say short. We say short short study periods, part of your daily routine. So part of your all runs up to the word daily. Part of your daily routine. The syllable teen is stressed in the word routine. You'll start seeing your English. The word you'll, which is short for you will, is pronounced kind of like you'll. You'll start seeing your English improve. Stress on the second syllable improve over time. You'll start seeing your English improve over time. Okay, I hope this analysis was helpful and if you'd like to improve your accent, check out my training courses which have 60 lessons of English pronunciation training and practice. There's the American English pronunciation course which will explain the sounds of the English language, consonants and vowels one by one in order to improve your rhythm and your pronunciation. If you buy both courses together, there's actually a discount so click on the link to check it out.